Yo, what is going on guys? Uh, back with a quick little video, little uh, tip, little help you there, help you here video on how to update your gamma. Uh, not only update your gamma effectively, but to not lose you all of your custom keybinds. I just have some set for me to look at whenever I'm playing. Uh, but everyone has custom keybinds in Stalker. It's just kind of like, how could you play it without them? You also have your custom mod settings. All of these mods that are in the game, there's there's tons of them. And I imagine most of you guys have made those changes. Now, it's probably disappointing to hear that when you want to update the game, you lose all those custom settings, all those keybinds, all your graphic settings. All of it gets reset to default. It can be very annoying to just go back and reset those, especially when it's just for like a small, you know, hot fix or something like that. Um, this right here is the Gamma, official Gamma Discord. And... I highly recommend being a part of this if you're not already in the announcements channel. I always am checking this announcements channel because it tells you when updates come, what's in the updates and which update to do, because it's a little bit confusing. Whenever you go to update Gamma, you have two options. You can only install Gamma add-ons, or if I go to a bigger update here, you have to do a full install of the Gamma uh, mod pack. And if you haven't updated your game in a while and you don't really know what the last update is that you did, probably just do a full install just to be safe. And before you go crazy and do your update, if you don't wanna lose your uh, settings and your keybinds and your mod settings and all that good stuff, you wanna go to your file explorer, you're gonna wanna go to where your gamma anomaly is installed. Sorry, not gamma, where your anomaly is installed. This is just the anomaly download that gamma is using to mod, right? Whenever you download a gamma, you download anomaly and then you download gamma and they're in separate folders. If I actually open this in new window, so I get two instances of it, I can go to this gamma RC3 folder, and this is where gamma is installed. This is where all the mods are. This is where the actual updater is, the installer for gamma. Get both of these open, figure out where your installations are. You wanna go into app data on your anomaly download. Wherever this is downloaded, you go to app data, so you got where it's stored, anomaly app data, and in here you have a user.ltx. And this, I'm gonna minimize that for now. This right here is, all of your settings, all of your keybinds and graphic settings and things like that for Anomaly. This will get defaulted if you don't do this and you update it. So it's super simple. Just copy it and then paste it on your desktop and uh, and we can just ignore that for now. We're done with that. We saved your settings essentially and we'll get to that later on. Now in your Gamma folder where your updater is, you have a whole list of mods here. This is all the mods that show up in the mod organizer except this is where they're actually located on your computer. And simply go over here to the uh, search bar. If you don't have a search bar, I think you can hit like Control F. Yeah, if you hit Control F, it'll open this search bar for you. And uh, you're just gonna wanna type in MCM values. I've already done that. So, oh, no, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so we got MCM values. Uh, ignore this top one. You're gonna have this one right here. It's gonna be called Gamma MCM values, rename to keep your settings personal changes there you go rename to keep your personal changes this is the default folder that has this essentially is a a mod technically that is just all of your mod settings it's a little bit confusing but bear with me all you got to do to save your settings to the mods you're going to right click this you're going to hit rename and you're going to just remove all of this all the way to the s on values just remove that now i'm not going to do it because i've already done it here you're going to rename it. You're going to click in the empty space here to save it. And you're going to have just this folder here. And it's just going to be called Gamma MCM Values. And once that's done, you can close out of this. We're done. Now, the next thing for us to do is to actually update the game. You simply go to where your Gamma is installed. And you want to go to this Grox Mod Pack Installer. It should be the full, first folder in this, uh, in this folder. You're going to open this up. And you have here your Gamma Installer EXE. You open this up. This is how you initially install Gamma for the first time. I'm sure you're hopefully familiar with it somewhat. And refer back to the Discord uh, announcements channel and see which download you need to do. So for me, again, I just need to do only install Gamma add-ons. You might need to do a full install. Either way, no matter what, whether you need to do full or just add-ons, no matter what, you click download Gamma data. You click this, you'll get some uh, messages in the log start popping up. For you, it'll say done. But for me, I've already updated. So it just says you are up to date. Um, and then the next step is you either do your full 
or your only install gamma add-ons. I'm not gonna let you watch my loading bar. It's pretty simple. Just click it. You'll know when it's done. This bar will be full. It'll be a green bar. Fills up, it'll be full. It'll say at the bottom like gamma data complete installation, blah, blah, blah. I'll say something confir confirming that it is uh, installed and you're good to go. And then after that is done, just close out of it. And we can close out of this as well. You remember earlier, we pulled out this user.ltx. This was all of your key binds and all of your graphic settings for Stalker Anomaly. And all you gotta do is the one you pulled out, you're just gonna wanna drag it back in and replace it. And that saves all of the settings that you had prior to the update. Because this was just default. You wanna drag that back in and, and replace the files and that reverts it back to your custom key binds and settings. And you can either keep this for the next time you do an update or if you can just remember to pull it out, throw it back in every time you update. For me, it's easier just to keep it. I'll probably throw it in a folder somewhere where I can find it later on. The last step in order to ensure that your mod settings don't change, you remember how you renamed that file? Well, you're just gonna go down, you're gonna open up your mod organizer as if you're gonna launch the game. Hopefully you're, you have the correct number of mods and everything. If you did a full install, then this very well could have changed to the more current version, which I believe is Oh, 358, I actually have a mod disabled. Just on a side note, if there's any mods that you have disabled, like for example, these are all optional mods. These will get defaulted back to being enabled or disabled, whatever they were by default in the Gamma Mod Pack. So if you have custom mods enabled or disabled, you're gonna wanna make sure those are uh, changed to whatever you want them. So once that's done, you'll go down here to this filter at the bottom and you're gonna type in MCM. You're gonna have three subcategories. You're gonna have a fixes category and you're gonna have a disabled category. And by default, after you do your update, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have MCM values, rename to keep personal changes in your fixes and that's gonna be uh, enabled and that's gonna be your default mod settings. And this right here is the one you made. You renamed it and you made it prior to the update. And these are all of your custom mod settings. So all you gotta do is disable the default one enable the customized one and that's it you're done and when i launch the game here it will have all of my settings customized to what i have set them as and on a another side note every time you do an update you will have to go and enable your your custom mod settings you'll have to do that each time you update it won't automatically choose which mods you have enabled or disabled so that is just something to kind of keep in mind but the good news is from here on out Every time you do an update, you won't have to worry about renaming anything. You just have to simply check the box. If I go into simply keybinds, sorry, all keybinds, um, right here, for example, this is not a default keybind. The free zoom, I have it on mouse four. I think by default, it's mouse five. So that is for sure. I know that all of these are saved. All of my settings that I made in any of these are saved and they're what I want them to be. And then just to double check my anomaly settings, I can go into my advanced settings here. These are all my graphic settings. I'm pretty positive that this being set to volumetric on ultra is not default. So these are 100% my settings. And just to confirm it even further, I can go to my keybinds and I can come down to you for here. For example, PDA by default is not mouse five. This is something that I set custom and it's so good. I don't have to go through redo all my keybinds every time. It's pretty great. And there you go. Yeah, that's how you get your gamma to save all of your user settings after an update. And if this video did not make sense to you, go to the gamma discord, go to the FAQ. So go to the very top of this FAQ channel. This explains to you exactly, a, basically everything that I just said. This puts it in words for you and you can read it, refer to it, make sure you're doing everything right, as well as the backing up of your keybinds and mod settings. This is just explaining to you everything I just told you to do. Hopefully. My little demonstration helped. If so, leave a like. I appreciate you watching. I hope this helps you guys. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks again.